Contributory negligence is something you'll hear from insurance companies, and Alabama is a little unique on this. If, if you're in a wreck, for instance, and you're injured, mm -hmm. but you're as little as 1% at fault, the other person's 99% at fault, technically under the law, you may not be able to recover in that type of situation. Mm -hmm. Insurance adjusters will commonly tell you that. You call in, you make a claim, they'll say, oh, you got to know about Alabama law, and it looks like you're 1% at fault here, so you're not mm -hmm, going to be able mm -hmm. to recover. The whole goal there is to keep you from going to see an attorney. Most attorneys will tell you that your case will not be dismissed because of contributory negligence. Very seldom does that happen. There are ways to get around it. But most importantly, a jury ultimately gets to decide, and I'm not convinced that a jury is really willing to let somebody not be compensated if they're just 1%. There are some fine people working with insurance companies, but it is in their interest, if they can, to keep anyone from calling a good attorney and, and having someone represent just them. They're in the business of making money, and they know you're calling them to make a claim. If right. they have to pay the claim, that's less money they're, they're going so to make. So if, if you'll buy, well, you may be at 1% at fault here. There's no sense pursuing this. And you hang up and go, well, I guess there's nothing I can do. They, they win right and out of the, the game. the biggest tool they'll use is the police report because many times uh -huh. the police report would suggest that you are at fault. Police reports are not admissible. Police officers usually don't see the accident. And so don't get hung up on that. The police, Talk to a lawyer. The, the police report provides a record for what the officer sees happened, but it doesn't have anything, any bearing at all on fault as far as what happened in the actual accident. That's is correct. that correct? That is correct. That's good information.